What's up? Merlin here playing Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. Now I'm gonna go find Garrick. Garrus. Garus. No, Garrus. So I'm gonna find him. You know, look at Jill over here. You know, looking fabulous. Is all possible. But no. I really do think uh, once I get Garrus, I'm going to uh, probably swap her out because I'll be damned if any other woman is going to try to upstage me. Like, it's just, I'm just not going to allow it to happen. I refuse. Okay. I'm the main character, not you. Anyway. Like I'm saying, some of these women on this that station up to don't understand. What guy? Yeah, when I'm walking by, uh, the one over by the they're all looking at me, not you. So. Especially like you. Yeah, no one's caring about you. They're caring about me. You know about what I'm saying? Jill, Jill here, she's ruthless. In all aspects of life. But now, I'm supposed to go where now? Now, back to reality here, uh, what? I don't know, if there's a way to ping this, I have no idea. But what am I going to? Uh, of course, Den, Lower Wards. So I gotta go to lower wards. You know, assuming I can stop hitting all the wrong buttons, that is. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his <clears throat> word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase Hmm. So you hit the skip button and it goes super fast, nice. Oh yeah, I did put a ping there, didn't I? Oh, there's a thing right here. Hold on, hold on. Why? Who? Oh, I don't want to do that just yet. I want to get him and my crew first. Lower wards. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the other would... That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are... Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Well, as a wise man once said, if it bleeds, you can kill it. So maybe I should just shoot this thing. Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. 
The enkindlers raise the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. Oh, I disappeared so I couldn't do a little bit about threatening to shoot him. Damn. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. Oh, sh You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. <laughs> oh, it was so rude. It was so rude of me. Well, I didn't think it was going to come off like that. Like, damn. All right, so Cora's den. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. So I don't know. I don't know what was with my camera angle there. It's like my controller went just weird for a second. I don't, I don't know what happened. <clears throat> We'll find him down here. He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. All right, well, He's a hello. Dangerous man. Well, can I help out? Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Okay, they're obviously doing. Oh, they're going bounty hunters, maybe. Whatever, not my problem. I think I'm going the right way. Hold up. Oh, casino. I guess, I guess, I don't know, I don't know. I think this is the right way, I have no idea. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution.
Damn, I, yeah, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go here. I thought this was going to... Oh, it's the upper wards. I gotta go lower. Where do I go lower? Well, hey, if this says lower markets, I'm assuming that's going to be the lower spot. So... Okay, so I need to go... Somewhere. I have... Damn, I suck at this. I suck at navigating. That's her. Got me, all right, what's up? kind of place, but, uh, this is old. This kind of place, all right. <laughs> you know, let me just survey the area, make sure there's no hidden hostiles anywhere. Just, just, uh, just in case. Oh, I only let you aim. Of course they wouldn't. Of course they wouldn't. I mean, I mean, I would hate to be rude to another alien's culture. So I mean, I'm just saying. Obviously, got to respect, right? About the sitting down and watching her dance, not about the respect thing. Because obviously, I want YouTube to pay me ads. <laughs> Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans, I have no clue with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Well, I'm Jill Shepard, so I absolutely am gonna get caught up in some stuff I shouldn't be caught up in, so let's do it. Parkin, actually, I'm gonna talk to this Krogan. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Like, ooh, I'm so scared. Mm. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. 
enjoy the club. Well, it'd be a lot easier if I could point my sniper rifle at people. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down? Oh, right now she's pissed. Dark. She is pissed. Have a drink. You can tell. Let's see where this goes. Oh, I mean, look, I mean, look how mad she looks. I mean, she just, she just wants to kill this guy. She wants to kill him. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, Princess. Call me Princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? <laughs> you must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. That's, uh, yeah, not, that's horrible, that's horrible. Why would you say that? I, I should just shoot this guy in principle right now. You know, prevent this herpes epidemic from spreading. Yeah, disgusting. You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. All right, I guess I'll uh, sniff around her office too. As long as uh, that's uh, YouTube appropriate, not gonna get me uh, banned. Hmm. Why didn't Captain Anderson? Oh, we can level. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. First aid unlocked. And then heavy armor is the next level, so that'll be good. Four more points. Intimidate, yes. Might as well get that, you know, up there with more health. Squad, journal. Go to the medical clinic. Garris went to the med clinic in upper wards to follow up a lead on Saren. Alright, upper, 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 upper. Yeah. Should just be one of those elevators, I think. Maybe it's not true. Did I have, let me see, oh, assault training five, ooh, I probably should have did more of that, oops.
Oh, I got an equipment too. Or I thought I did. I don't know. Whatever. Med clinic and upper wards. Okay, so I just gotta go all the way back. Smart dog. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll. Who are you? Let her go. Close and personal, shotgun style. Gonna do some damage. Think we got him, Commander. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out.
Oh, I didn't realize they were going to have the uh, other people already, uh, like, highlighted or whatever. Not highlighted. The people that are, like, shadowed out. Like, I didn't realize they were actually going to show their uh, appearance. Sure, because I'll replace him with Rex and then, uh, I don't know. See what happens. So, CSEC Academy. <clears throat> I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, is there anything you needed? No. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. to the C-Sec Academy. That was right around here, though, somewhere real close, I thought. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, right down here. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Torfin was a case study during my training. I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah, yeah. We'll be seeing each other again, yeah. The last fucking thing we'll do. <clears throat> Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Oh, the, okay, oh, door opened. There we go. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy. You will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Alright, see what this guy does. Uh, 
It works for me. Now what are we doing? A crime lord hiding at a bar called for a den. Lower wards is meeting with a quarren who has proofs. All right. Yeah, I don't know how long this episode is currently, so I'm just going to end it and then continue. <laughs>